this camera phone starting to slack off. How y'all are this afternoon? This is your old buddy George Jones over here at our Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got one box I have it left and we're going to shoot it. Uh, what we've got is, is the Stuck made in, when did you say it was made? Uh, 78. 70, yes, yes, yeah, stamp 78. Uh, 1978 production, East European 7.62 by 39 training ammunition. I think they designed this to shoot on indoor ranges. Anyway, a lot of this come into the country back in the early 1980s. Uh, tons of it. I mean, it come in these blister packs like this. There was 10 of them in there, and you could go to the gun show or the machine gun shoot and buy a 10-round blister pack. I'm thinking it was 25 cents when it first become available. And they had scads of it. It was just a ridiculous amount. And I, you know, you'd buy, I'd buy $25 worth of it. I mean, you know, uh, I had a little Chinese SKS and, you know, we'd just burn them through it. And I'd go back next gun show and get some more. Eventually it got up there to where it was like a dollar for one of these packs, 10 cents a round. Instead of 2.5 cents a round. And then eventually they played out. And I kept a bunch of it for a long time and, you know, and shoot a little bit of it every once in a while. And I thought, man, that's the last 10 rounds of that stuff I've got. We need to go take it to the range and explore with it. So it has, in fact, a steel jacket and a plastic core to try and give it stability. And it shoots pretty good. Now I've got the old uh, <clears throat> Romanian. Uh, SKS here that we've seen before on the channel so I'm going to load this guy up and see if it'll shoot it out of the Romanian the Romanian at 125 yards Let's load this guy up I don't have it on a stripper clip so I have to be careful and not trip the bolt hold open or else I get the old M1 SKS thumb and we put the tin in there, and there's three. We're slowly loading. There's a reason why I save stripper clips. <laughs> Got this a lot easier. The real lesson of this is when you find something that works and it's good and it's cheap buy all you can if I'd have known then I'd have gone to the bank and took out a second mortgage against my truck or something and went and bought the whole damn country full of it because at the time it worked pretty good alright we got this guy loaded up with 10 rounds the last 10 rounds I know of of this ammunition and we're going to give it a try at the old 125 yard hanging steel silhouette and see how we do. Went in battery. Alright, let's aim her down through there and see if we can hit anything. We've got it on... We've got it on the 100 yard zero setting. Let's see if we can hit anything with it. Hit it? Me neither. I don't know. I don't know if it fed it. Hit it. I seen it disintegrate down there, but it didn't have enough bullet mass to really move the target. That was definitely a hit. Okay. It still shoots after all these years. Let's get ambitious and try and hit the steel groundhog. By God, it hit it, didn't it? <laughs> it's just a swinging back and forth.
bowed out. Hit it again. And it worked in SKS perfectly. Well, I'd like to talk about it more than that, but I don't have anything to hold up. <laughs> this, this round that I used to have. So, that's an example of the old plastic core, Eastern, Eastern, East German um, ammunition that, as far as I know, no longer exists because I think I shot the last 10 rounds of it just a minute ago. All right, then. Like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Put me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door if you like my content. If you don't like my content, that's fine. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye now.